It's open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Jump. more than one sigil. <laughs> Father, if you can't trust the faith, why do you care what they said? to your life. I can take no chances. <gasps> the Mystic Gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry, distrustful. With you, now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Shouldn't let prop.
you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. to go we should travel us no further well that's a bloody relief so you put down old garm did you yeah sort of atreus your decision to go to asgard after all he's put us through i'll never understand it but i hope you at least came back with something we can use i hope so too come on let me show you what odin's up to Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never heard any of Hey, wait! We're with you.
travel to Vanaheim. Great. Are you gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Hey, is that soundstone on that log? I could get us past it. to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Everyone. Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. <laughs> Kratos! Atreus! A welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya Spore. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while... Exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just 
Watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. by the Ainher yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, He'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Elka! Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. <clears throat> and don't shoot any boars! <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. <gasps> old swine still carried a grudge, you'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. Hmm? I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. <clears throat> but so is privacy, eh? Okay, okay. Point taken. different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. <laughs> Find the Nokin! It's making these things stronger! 
This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to get were captured. Thigvir's the Light Elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alphonse, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> I'm up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hearty, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yard played a part according to Skolanati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map. Isn't it? Try there first. But besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, <laughs> once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken <laughs> sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Huh. 
Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. <laughs> There's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. We can get to it from up here. that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. She's gone again. 
Ben, hurry! We gotta get across! Still up there. Another ambush? Really? That changed the charm. They are not smart. I and does that. You know, what we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our action. Cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Heimd almost to grab this while I freed Garm. But I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. 
The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cave. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately.
like the egros. <laughs> we can get across from up here. We report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mast pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Who want to kill us? Yo, only the canapsious ones. Hounds prized for their pinpoint Ooh. accurate tracking abilities. Ooh. You'll love it. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. It's in Vanaheim before. Yeah, that just sort of had to when we freed the moon. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves, and now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Back with me! 
is replicating! <laughs> They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Followed the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Perhaps. <laughs> But you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first... You? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure haver? God, the man. What? The most annoying man alive. <clears throat>
on your mark. Use a shield, Huh! 